Yeah, my name is James A. Miller, A.K. Catfish. I've been a fisherman since I've been four years old. Just as four hundred people sitting up there saying it's okay for that 905 to disperse to be in our water out there for a trade-off. I don't know who's lining your pocket every day with money, but I'm disappointed that you would sit up there and say that in front of me. Because the reason why, people, I work for the VU program. Terribly sick. $360,000 worth of hospital bills. And you just sit up there and told this lady you don't know who's in charge or our future health care and you don't know when it's going to come. I might not survive for another five years from cancer or the benzene gas I've been sniffing. People, I'm so upset. I'm shaking in my limbs right now for talking to you. I've watched millions of dragonflies while I live in Biloxi, Mississippi on the beach dead. I've watched 52 turtles dead in the water. I've watched dolphins, croakers, groundhogs, speckled trout, pelicans. In my water where I worked at all my life, trade-offs. How can you sit up there and say trade-off? Are you that Obama conspiracy too with all the government? Come on, people. This is our life. This is our future. If you sit right here and keep lying to us like Feinberg, BP, Obama, we're going to die. Just like this lady said, five million people's been affected and don't even know it slipped underneath their door cracks while they were sleeping. Our beaches. They embalmed us with it. Come on, people. Where's our health care? Please, in your packet, in that book, where is my health care? I worked 60 days on the front line for VOP, whatever, BP out here. You people today can't. I went to my local officials. Haley Barber, my so-called governor, that sold me out because he's getting revenue from BP Chef on Exxon. I mean, it's terrible. You people can think this is a trade-off. You are traitors up there to me. This is why people get upset in America. We pay taxes. We believe in ourselves. I'm a fisherman. I've killed many animals with my nets. But you need to come on my boat and see what it killed. And then you wouldn't sit up here and say, man, we just made a trade-off. It's that simple. It's not. I'm sick today. Nobody wants to take care of me. I don't have no insurance. I'm a poor-ass fisherman. Who's going to pay my $363 worth of hospital bills? You ain't giving me no answer. I'm so mad at this right now. I need to sit down and cool off. Because <coughs> you people need to understand, my life's not a trade-off. I got a heart that beats just like yours. I got feelings. And you upset me today for telling me that my health, because people want some trade off to make dollars. Somebody's lying in y'all's pocketbooks. Because this is a conspiracy. And you people can sit here and hide this all y'all want in your life. But when we all start dropping dead from the Florida state line to Grand Isle, Louisiana, wow, what are you going to say? Come on, man, get off the ground. We can't. Because we've been poisoned by the dispersants that you people said it's a trade off. Love y'all. Peace, brother. That's no magic. <laughs>